Well, hey there. <clears throat> Welcome to the Paul Paul Chronicles and more with Jim. And I also want to say hello to uh, Paul Paul Chronicles Facebook group. Uh, I'm going to share uh, what I'm uh, going to do here uh, with uh, both channels. And, and that's because not everybody is on YouTube and not everybody is on Facebook. So I'll share the video in both formats. Now, you see I got a greenhouse and I've been out here. Uh, I come out here every day and I water everything. I just got done watering these. And uh, these flats, they dry out quickly. You got to stay on top of watering. And that being said, somebody shared an idea with me. And I'm going to share that with you. And I thought, man, that's a good idea. But I'm also want to talk to you about uh, root mass. Now, the one big thing I've noticed about the Paul Paul world is, is everybody is so stuck on don't mess with that tap root. But, you know, I've been working with a, a gardening program, and we grew some Paul Pauls and flats. And they were in a tub of dirt like I had showed you I did uh, uh, earlier this year down in my basement. But my basement was so cool, the pawpaws weren't uh, 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 germinating quick enough. However, the ones that I did with the bar gardening program, they germinated. We lifted the flats up and we got pawpaws out of the flats. Some of them we left in the flats. And you know what we did? We pulled them little pawpaws out and we snipped that root. Now, and this has got me wondering. The pawpaw will grow a tap root 8 to 10 inches long before any top growth will come. And I thought, well, can it handle the air pruning as it's trying to grow? And over this way, I had a little cracking going on and I kind of prodded around in there, and wouldn't you know it, I seen a little pink knuckle trying to come up. So we're going to leave it be. Now, these trays are designed to create uh, air pruning. I brought this out here with me to show it to you. I've showed it to you before. These are made by the uh, root maker uh, uh, company down in Huntsville, Alabama. And... The process, I guess, what happens is, is the root will come out through the bottom and air prune. And when it air prunes, it'll send a signal up to that tree, four inches, Dr. Wickham's uh, theory, and create uh, lateral root growth, which in turn will also go down and start hitting these smaller pockets right here and air prune. And the air pruning continues on and on and on. Well, I think it'll work. I think it's a good product, and that's the reason why I've invested so much in the product. As you can see, that's a root maker pot, although these are two trees I bought from a greenhouse, and uh, I ordered them, and they came to me. They're not alive. They didn't make it. I'll never order from that establishment again. But anyways, let me set this to the side, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I wanted to resolve an issue of drying out. Drying out, drying out. Got a little bit going on right there. We want to try to keep these moist. Got a little bit drying out there. I watered these this morning and already because of the heat inside of the greenhouse, we've got drying out. Somebody shared something with me and I said, you know what, that sounds like a good idea. Cardboard, we've got all kinds of it around. It's been soaking in that tub for a little while. Let's lay a piece of wet cardboard on top of that. We have a few pieces here, and I thought to myself, you know, I do have plenty of cardboard. This one right here is starting to separate. Put 
to help hold the moisture down inside that pot. need another piece. Somebody had suggested that to me. And I thought, you know what, that's a good idea. And he said, all you gotta do is just lift the cardboard up to see what's going on whenever they start to germinate and push. And I thought, man, this is a good idea. It'll help insulate and prevent evaporation as quickly and that wet cardboard will also add the moisture as it seeps down so i thought man that's a good idea and uh actually i think i might be able to turn these around and go this way with them i don't know we'll see about that a little bit later it was just something that i wanted to share with you you know as i said before I learn as I go, share as I learn. This is something I learned from somebody that I had a conversation with. And I wanted to share that with you because I think it's an excellent idea. Especially in a greenhouse setting where you're trying to keep flats from drying out. I have three flats right here that are 18 celled count for a total of 54. And I have three flats over here that are 32 cell count, which is a total of 96. So we got quite a few pawpaw seeds right here. We've got about uh, 500 of them over there that are going through uh, germinating and they're coming up and uh, it won't be long. I'll be a busy, busy little fella because I've got probably oh, about 200 persimmons that I got to get uh, potted up and I'll be working on that this weekend. Well, anyways, just something that I wanted to share. If you like what you see, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Any comments or questions that you may have, I welcome. Thank you for your time, YouTube channel. And for those in the uh, Paul Paul uh, Chronicles Facebook group, you all have a good day.